Hi. In this video, we'll use Burp to test horizontal access controls. When a user logs into an application, they usually only have access to their own functions and resources. If access controls are incorrectly set, a user can gain access to data and functionality that should only be available to other users. If you have credentials for two different user accounts with identical privileges, you can test an application's horizontal access controls. If you want to test individual endpoints, you can use Burp Repeater. You can also use the Compare Sitemaps function to automatically send multiple requests. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the Using Application Functionality to Exploit Insecure Deserialization Lab from our Web Security Academy. Before you start, make sure you have the credentials for two different users with identical privileges. To run a quick test on an individual endpoint, visit the target site, log in, and access the functionality you want to test. Then, log in with a second set of credentials that have identical privileges. Now, we'll go to the Proxy HTTP History tab and find a request from the first user's authenticated session. Right-click and choose Send to Repeater. Before we leave the HTTP History tab, we'll find the second user's most recent request, select the request and copy the session cookie. Now, go to the Repeater tab Paste the second user's cookie into the request, replacing the original session cookie. Click Send. Review the response to identify if horizontal access is possible. In the example, the account details automatically update. This indicates that you can't access the first user's account page using the second user's session. To do this for all requests across the site can be time consuming. Burp Suite can help you automate this process across all requests in the current sitemap. First, log in and map the application. In this case, we've already done this step. In a new browser window, log into the target site with a second set of credentials that have identical privileges to obtain a session cookie for the second user. Go to the Proxy HTTP History tab. Select the second user's most recent request and copy the session cookie to use later. Now we can create a session handling rule that adds the second user's session cookie to all requests sent from the target tool. From the settings dialog, go to sessions, session handling rules and click add. Go to the scope tab. Under tool scope, select target and deselect all other tools. Under URL Scope, select Use Custom Scope, click Add and enter the URL of the target site. Now go back to the Details tab to define the rule. Under Rule Actions, click Add, then select Set a Specific Cookie or Parameter Value. Add the name of the cookie and set the value to the cookie you copied from your second user's request. Keep clicking on OK to close all the open dialogues. You'll then see the rule added to the list of session handling rules. Go to the Target Sitemap tab, right-click the target host, then select Compare Sitemaps. Select Use Current Sitemap, then click Next. Select Use Only Selected Branches, and click Next. Then select Request Map 1 again in a different session context. Keep the default settings for each of the remaining steps. Review the two sitemaps. Any differences are highlighted. Look for logged in requests that are identical. This may indicate that you accessed the first user's account using the second user's session. 